channel guys hi guys hope you're all okay out there and you've been having a great week yes have a great week digging yeah i hope what have you guys found yes because we've been digging also we, we found a couple this week we have and we're gonna crack on and get on with up. it yes yeah so our first find of the week mm -hmm. a bit of a classic so um, exciting layla Derek oh, yes. and the dominoes yeah. So this is um, an album that Adam had wanted yeah. early on in his collection. So yeah. over the weeks, we've been doing a little bit of research, haven't we? And a bit of yeah. sort of keeping an eye out for this. Look at that. Great gay fold. Yeah, it's an album which I loved growing up as a kid. Um, yeah. I was early, into all the early claps and stuff. John Mayle, Cream, Blind Faith. Mm -hmm. And I loved Derek and the Dominoes. Um, so as Corin said, um, it was an album we wanted to get early on. Adam's introduced me to Eric Clapton. I can't quite believe yeah. all the amazing sort of musical projects he's been a part of. Yeah, he's yeah. done quite a lot of stuff in his yeah. time, yeah. like I just said. And yeah. I prefer this some of this earlier stuff, but yeah, it's great. We bought it on, um, we wanted a great sounding one, and we've done a lot yes. of research online. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a UK first issue, but it's on the Polydor Super yes. sleeve. We read that this was in all of our research forums that... People were saying that they had multiple yeah. copies of Layla, but they keep coming back to this Polydor Super. Yeah. Um, so we picked it up, but we got a UK one. Yes. And, um, well, it sounds great. It does sound awesome. Um, but they, really good. They released one in a UK and a US. Yeah. But I think the US is either a Sterling or a Master Disc. Yeah, and we subsequently think that that may be yeah, the, the one... The better sounding one. should have bought. But yeah. this sounds so good, guys. Yeah, it does. It sounds really warm. Raw. Uh, raw. Yeah. Clapton's vocals and Dwayne Ullman sound great together. And mm. it's an album where you've got two great guitarists. Yeah. The Clapton and, and Dwayne Ullman. And it doesn't feel like they're competing with each other. No. Actually feels that like they're complementing each other. Yeah. Which is great. Instead of like, oh, I'm going to go do a guitar battle. This sounds awesome. It really does. And, um, kind of really makes your beam and yeah, smile. Yeah. It's great. And yeah. it's, sleeve's in pretty good condition. Mm -hmm. The spine, if you can see it, is a little bit worn. Yeah. But well loved. But the vinyl itself. Oh, amazing. Um, it's a double album. Mm -hmm. Is in near mint there is not a mark on this was this a and it's glossy ebay purchase uh, yeah a seller on ebay yeah he's been selling his own collection mm -hmm. he's got some good ones he's got some original stooges and stuff yeah. like that so great find it's a classic album it really is um if you don't know it's uh, about clapton's love lust for patty mm. boyd Yes. Which was uh, George Harrison's wife at the time, I think. Naughty, and naughty. Naughty, and, and he was, they were best friends, but cut a long story short. Yeah. Clapton ended up eventually marrying Patty Boyd, but they split up. Yeah. Um, I think the cover is inspired by Patty yeah. Boyd, isn't it? Like, um, it's sort of a painting. This paint, painting was... And um, it reminded Clapton of, of her. Of her. I think yeah. this was in, they were recording in... Um, like a, a villa in France, I That's think. It. It's a yeah. French painter. He had it on the wall. Yeah. And it reminded him of Patty. And I think he ended up getting this picture and, and she actually owns the Aww. original. So, yeah. So classic Great songs story. then. Classic songs on here. For me, I looked away. Bell Bottom Blues. Yeah. Nobody Knows When You're Down and Out. Great guitar songs. Have You Ever Loved a Woman? Summer Clapton's finest guitarist, raw. He's using his brownie strap. Great. I love it. And I love this album. Um, it's got this, Layla as well. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. Incredible song, yeah. yeah. But, Little Wing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, his version of Little Wing. <laughs> it's different, not, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, different, but perhaps not the best song on no, the album. No, not the best song on the album. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you think? But, yeah. Anyway, because we love the album cover so much, <laughs> I mean, I think it's actually... My favourite yeah, today. It's one Look of at mine. the light, it just flows. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. We decided to have a little competition. Yeah, we had a little competition <laughs> and we said to each other, we've got five minutes. Yeah. And we'll... We're, <laughs> we're going to draw the cover of Layla. Yeah, so we had to so, give ourselves five minutes each. And we want you to mark it, guys, out of ten. No, not out of ten. Whose is the best? Okay, whose is the best? Come on then. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Hey, let's give you a little close up of yours then. Yeah. So there's mine, there's Layla. Not there's the... Corinne's. Corinne's, mine. yeah. Right, so, so yeah. let's name the Corinne's. Who's one? And me. Way. Right. Put them to the side. <laughs> Next. Okay, so next is an album that I've always wanted to have yep. in the collection. Yeah. And it's Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Give Troubled close Water. Up. It's an album that's very common. Uh, you see it all the time, don't you? You do. Uh, so I was hopeful that we'd be able to find it in the wild, in the wild. for not a bad price. And we and did. And we did this yeah. week. £1.25. £1.25. Yeah, really pleased. It's a UK first press, yeah. CBS. And it's again in great really, really condition. good con condition. Yeah. But it's very, very quiet, mm. isn't it? it? Looks unplayed. Mm. Um, yeah. Very, very quiet. So yeah. you you need a quiet press, but we'd love to know if there's any better pressing because you have to turn it up, don't you? You to... really have to turn it up. So if yeah. you've got any any little blips and bops or little hairline scratches, you'll hear them yeah. on this. But they're so clean. Yeah. We were lucky. Really, really chuffed with this. And for me. It's just a cracking album. Yeah. I love every track on here. Yeah, it's great. My mum introduced me to this when I was young, and I just know it inside oh. out. And I, I just love every track. Yeah. Obviously, Baby Driver, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Cecilia, yeah. Frank Lloyd Wright. It mm -hmm. just goes on. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, and of course, The Boxer. The Boxer. Okay. Um, as a young girl listening to the boxer, I just got in. I, I like lost myself in that track oh, listening yeah. to the story, and it, I just love this album. Yeah. So everyone should have yeah. Bridge Over Troubled Water. And there's a reason why it's everywhere, and, and um, there's so many of them. It's because it's such a good album. Yeah. Um, song after song is. And their it's a harmonies classic. on it, they sound. I yeah. love them. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm so, sure you've got it. Sure you've heard it. Really pleased if to you have like it. it. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> it's great to find a, such a good. Clean record in the wild and for so, such a good price. Yeah, one pound yeah. twenty-five. Yeah, mint. So really, really pleased to have that one. That hasn't gone up in value, has it? That one. No. <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, okay. So we've got a couple of thank yous now um, to a couple of channels who've gave us some really good recommendations yes, this week. Yeah, we have. Um, First one is. The Digital Gramophone. Digital Gramophone. John at the Digital yeah. Gramophone. He's got an amazing site. Yeah. Um, he has some really cool music. I know mm -hmm. he's in his pop, pop and alternative um, rock sort of, lo-fi sort of sounding. But music. he's always introducing us to obscure stuff that we New have music. never heard of. But we would be into, really Yeah, cool. we've got really similar tastes, yeah. I think. So thanks, John. Yeah. We really enjoy yeah. your channel. So if you don't know it, I'm mm -hmm. sure you do. Why not check him out? He needs all the support. Yeah. It's a great channel. Really, really nice. good. And the second one we'd like to thank is yeah. Vinyl Guru. Vinyl Guru, yeah, yeah. Yeah, vibrant channel, great girl. Amazing collection. Yeah, by um, yeah awesome collection. Yeah. And, and she sent us a video this week. Yeah. And she was sort of trying to recommend a loads few, of different stuff. Yeah, sort of some funk funkadelic and yeah. Parliament. Yeah, yeah so, so really good. Really cheers, good. Guru. Yeah, enjoyed that. Check her out. Thank you very much. So, guys. So, other news of the week. Other news of the week, yeah. Um, we've been looking into how to give a record a really good clean. A deep clean. Yeah. We've got a, a brush cleaner, mm -hmm. and it's good to get some grime and that off the top. If if you go to car boot sales and sometimes they can be quite grubby, can't they, yeah. guys? You know. So, so um, we've been researching what's the best way to clean. Yeah. Um, so, so on YouTube, we came across a channel called Too Many Too 40... Many Forty Fives. Yeah. yeah, he's got a great channel. Mm -hmm. I love his, his music collection. He's and he's that. been sort of looking into cleaning records for a, a long time. Yeah, so he's yeah. got a, a vinyl cleaning machine. He hasn't got one of these projects, which costs about four or five hundred pounds. Oh, so pricey. Um, he's got a DIY one, which is made in Canada. I think they make it from 3D printer parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's really cool. He makes his own solution. Yeah. He's got a right little setup going on. Yeah. And, and we've been inspired to... Make our own. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kept us busy. Um, that'll be a project to go on for the next month. Yeah. So, um, does any of 
you guys make your own formula right there. Yeah, have you got any cleaning solutions or top tips for giving a record yeah. a deep clean? Yeah. We'd love to know. Love to hear, yeah. <laughs> anyway, on to our last record of the day. It's one of our old ones, mm -hmm. our old classics. Our keeper. Yeah. Everyone's heard of it again. We're going into classic um, edition today. We are. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. This is one of our old records we kept. Yes. It's an original UK. Um, that first guys. issue. Um, but it's a stereo. Oh, controversial. Yeah, because <laughs> a lot of people, including myself, say that the early Beatles stuff should be in mono. It sounds mm -hmm. the best in mono. And I do agree. I love the early Beatles stuff in mono. Yeah. Um, but... This sounds amazing. It really it in was stereo. The, it was the first record that we actually spun on our new turntable. On our new table, and we put and we it on. both just kind of went like, wow. wow. And um, yeah, awesome. and I think it does deserve a stereo because um, it's I feel like the, one of their crossover albums. Some people say Magical Mystery Tour. I say this, and um, it's got a lot of orchestral pieces. There's a lot of things going on, and yeah. it's nice to hear it. Um, panning across from speaker to speaker yeah. and I think it works really well yeah um, I love this album I prefer the later Beatles stuff um, to the early uh -huh. love the early stuff too but my personal favorite is the later this yeah. white album yeah yeah uh, Abbey Road um, it's got some great songs on this yeah. um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds Sergeant Pepper when I'm 64 um, I bought it because of the song for the benefit of Mr. Kite um, it's a very unusual yeah. song, very trippy. It was in my mm. psyche. I had to buy it, and then I got into the rest of the album. I love it when that happens. Yeah. When you so, yeah, it's really yeah. good. And for me, um, when we'd been together 10 years, we had a trip to Liverpool and yeah. went all around the sort of places mm -hmm. from the Beatles, and that's when I really got into yeah, the Beatles, yeah. and I kind of cracked them, I say. Yeah. And I've been enjoying them ever since. Yeah. yeah. yeah this yeah, is yeah. an iconic album cover, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. And it's nice to have an early one. It sounds great. Yeah. Um, it's well loved. Um, it used to be yeah. something I listened to a lot. Oh, you've um, had it for a long time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, for years, yeah, probably yeah. Uh, like 25 years wow. at least. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still in good it condition. It really is. It's glossy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, so, yeah I've been enjoying that. Um, it has been a bit of a classic edition today, but um, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Yeah. We have. Yeah, we have. We wish you all a very good weekend yeah. and week ahead. Yeah, and let us know what you found this week, guys. Yeah. Um, always interesting for us. Have you yeah. got any recommendations oh, of yeah. some great sounding albums for yeah, us? Yeah, always love to hear. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, so if you care to subscribe. It would really help us out. We'd love yeah. your support. We really appreciate the support mm -hmm. you've given us so far. We do. Um, Leave a comment down below mm -hmm. and uh, let's wrap this up. Yes. I'm Adam. I'm Corinne. And we are Evie Final. Good night.